not a game, it's a rich thing. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela aka Parmesan Warrior. Today I have, oof, y'all see I'm even dressed well. This, this, this DIY today requires extra zhuzh, okay? Full zhuzh. But seriously, this floor, okay? I did not start my wedding planning saying I am going to DIY our wedding dance floor. No, Pinterest, okay? Pinterest got me in this situation. I blame Pinterest, okay? Because of my Pinterest boards and goals and aspirations, I saw um, a lot of different decor and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, my wedding floor is gonna have this, custom this, backdrop this. And then I sent emails for quotes uh, using some of the vendors at my uh, venue and quickly learned that I did not, I wasn't set up for this, okay? <laughs> I had no idea that getting a floor wrap, as it's called, cost several thousand dollars. Um, and I take full responsibility. I was naive. I was ignorant, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a lot of appreciation and respect for these individuals who do this. So um, I say all this to say that if you decide that you want to do this, I'm going to do a full walkthrough, but I want you to take it with a grain of salt that I took on this ambitious quest and I'm so glad because it worked out really, really well. Um, and to this day, no one knows that we are the ones who did the floor. So if you want to know how I DIY'd the wedding dance floor, stay tuned. This is what the venue looked like initially. It had a nice neutral palette from the walls to the carpet and the hardwood floor. The stage area also had the brown paint, but I wasn't as worried about it because I planned to cover the entire stage anyway. But my main focus was to DIY the floor so it would look like this. But before you do or buy anything, you need to take a look at your venue contract. For example, my venue contract specifically said decorations shall not be stapled, tacked, or taped to any walls or ceilings. And then the woman who gave us a tour of the vicinity showed us specifically how Previous renters lost their security deposits for things as small as leftover Velcro and tape. So I just want you to be careful so that you don't lose your money. Next, you'll need the measurements for the floor. You can either do this yourself or you can ask the venue like I did and they can provide you a full fleshed out floor plan. So at this point, I was still looking to hire a professional vendor to do the floor wrap. I reached out to different vendors near the venue for quotes. Then I checked with Etsy to see if I could find a small business online that could help print the design and ship it to me to save money. Now this is to show you guys that I asked for a 23 foot by 34 foot floor wrap. I got a quote for 3,128 real human dollars. Okay, this was just to print the design that I wanted. This price did not include fixes, shipping, or install. I partly gave up on the design aspect and reached out to another company that sold only white floor wraps. This one was indeed cheaper, but it was this conversation that changed the game for me, so I have to share. He told me for the 23 by 34 feet, I would need two rolls and it would be $1,000. When he said two rolls, the light bulb went off and... He said each roll would be 54 inches by 100 feet long. This changed the game for me because I'm not an expert in this and didn't know how much material I would need if I wanted to do the floor myself. I ran to Google to type in removable floor vinyl 54 inches by 100 feet long right? So fast forward several phone calls and emails to companies later, I found the perfect vinyl directly from a distributor itself on LexJet.com. The brand I chose to use was Avery, but if you want to use a different one from the link that I'm going to provide, this is what you need to look for. You have to make sure that it's removable, 
I saw this one was used for floor graphics, but most importantly, trade show graphics. Trade shows do pop-ups all the time, so I felt confident in it. It was only $162. So for two rolls, it was $324 and plus tax, so $345. From the original quotes I got, I was saving over $3,000. So once I got the white vinyl, I still wanted to figure out how to design it. So I ran to AliExpress and I found this initial design floor decal. I ordered the other color and sent them a picture of the fuchsia color I wanted. Just be careful when ordering because I call it fuchsia, they call it blush. And got the size 160 by 165 centimeters. It cost me $28. Then I found these large removable vinyl leaf stickers that also fit my theme. I'll put the information down below, but I didn't know how many I would need, so I ordered 30 sheets, 15 of each style, and it cost me $126. And I figured I could use any extras to decorate other parts of the venue, like the wood bar, if I ordered too many. I tested the stickers on my hardwood floor first because I was paranoid again about losing my security deposit. We need all of our coins, okay? Um, but it stayed put and it can be removed easily. Give yourself at least a month leeway for anything you order from abroad. And these ones came rolled in large sticker sheets, but I individually cut them out and try to come up with some type of coherent design. If you have the time, you can order two sheets ahead of time and then measure out how many sheets you would need to order. For unique designs, each leaf has to be applied separately, so I advise you come up with something feasible and easy, FYI, because I definitely learned the hard way. So once you have all the vinyl, some other materials that you'll need are box cutters and blades to cut the ends of the floor wrap, industrial size squeegees to smooth the vinyl down, painter's tape to temporarily hold down any designs in place, and measuring tape to make sure the designs are centered and even. And don't forget socks because you don't want to leave any marks or scratches on the white floor. Fast forward to application time on the morning of the wedding. How did we do it? When I got to the venue in the morning, my tribe had already started laying the floor vinyl down and handling other decorations. Again, they used the giant squeegees to smooth out each strip, used the measuring tape to put the J initial in the middle, and I had already sent them the design layout I wanted for the leaves so they were able to attach the stickers as well. We were pressed for time and had to leave and go get dressed, but they moved quick and it all came together. In total, materials cost $500.03 to be exact, but saved us thousands. <music> So how did it do? How did it hold up? This is the final floor design once the backdrop and stage were completed. It was strong enough to dance on. Nobody tripped or slipped, so we praise the Lord for that. And here's a clip of me dancing with my Ashoebi ladies or my traditional bridesmaids dancing on the floor while we were sweating to lay down this exact floor earlier. So after dancing all night, we were able to pull up the white vinyl floor sticker without any damage and no security deposit was lost. And there you have it. That is how I DIY'd my wedding floor and what the entire process looked like. I will not lie to you, I was super duper nervous. And that is why the warrior word of the day is teamwork. I could not have gotten this floor done without my loved ones and family members. Um, at the time, I wasn't expecting this again to be a full DIY, so I apologize that I didn't have like step-by-step -step close up and videos because it was the morning of my traditional Nigerian wedding and I was extremely stressed out, very, and uh, was not thinking about turning this into a video at the time. So my apologies, please forgive me. Um, but if you do decide that you want to do this, make sure you have a strong team. My venue would not let us set up until the morning of. I think they didn't open until maybe it was like 10 a.m. I can't fully remember, but 
um, which didn't give a lot of time, especially considering all of the massive decorations and transformation that I wanted to do. So um, if your venue allows you to go in the night before, that would be so much better. Um, you would have more time to play around and get things done, but definitely try it out. And if you do, please let me know. If you order this stuff, let me know. And if you have not already, please check out my last DIY. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And these videos take a lot of time. So if you do appreciate it, let me know in the comments. What do you, what did you think? Like, I hope, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy the stuff that I'm doing and keep in mind that more are coming soon.